In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving definite integrals using the Casio FS Another One ES Plus Second Edition Scientific Calculator and Seconds for Multiple Choice Questions. Alright, guys, so ensure sure you stay to the very end of this video. Okay, so having known that, let's get started. This is the Casio FS Another One ES Plus Second Edition Scientific Calculator. Okay, so we have three questions of party suites of which after solving these three questions here with you guys you'll be in a better position to be able to solve similar problems you encounter on definite integrals all right so let's begin with question one it says evaluate the following and uh, the upper limit is two lower limit is negative one all right so guys definite integrals are integrals that have upper and lower limit and they are usually straightforward Okay, you don't need to store any number to solve them, or like when solving indefinite integrals. So let's go ahead and solve question one. Firstly, you need to reset the calculator to put it in default mode. Guys, very important. So to reset it, just press shift button 9, follow the instructions, you press 3, then press equal to and press equal to again. So we have now reset it. Next step is to ensure that the calculator is in radial mode guys this step is very very important don't ever forget this particular step okay so to put it in radium mode because by default this calculator used to be in degree so to put it in, in radium mode just press shift this mode button so radium is option 4 press 4 all right so it's now in radium mode so let's go ahead and solve this question one this is definite integral you press this button for this definite integral okay so the upper limit is 2, the lower limit is negative 1. Alright, very very straightforward guys. So go to this center box and impute the values in the fraction. We have 1 minus 3x. Press alpha and this button for s to come out over. We have s square alpha and this button for x. Then press the button for square. We have minus x alpha and this button uh, negative 6. So that's it guys. Now let's press equal to and get our output or results. 0 0.277. So the correct option is what option A. It's as simple as this guys. So let's go ahead and solve question 2. Let's wipe this. So question 2. Definite integral of the upper limit this time around is so okay t2 the lower limit now is one not negative one so we we'll go back to the center box and impute the values we have three x square we press alpha and this button then put this for square so we have square root of s cubed plus one bring out square root we press shift okay don't press it guys just press this button it will come out all right so we have square root of x cube press alpha and this button cube make use of the power function all right come down we have plus one all right so that's it this is what we have here guys all right so let's press equals and get the output this ds stands for function okay so we have it to be what 16.11 option a is is the answer to this question too okay so we're making progress guys let's solve the last question and after it we call it a class now guys before we solve this very last question here if you are new to this channel ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video i really appreciate this guys and it helps the youtube algorithm to recommend this video to more people out there to see it and take advantage of it so guys having done that let's quickly solve this question 3 and call it a class so let's remove this question 3 says the definite integral of so you press this button the upper limit now is pi to bring up pi press shift and this button okay over the lower limit is 1 0 all right Come over to this center box and impute the values. We have 5 cos square x. Now, look at how you're going to represent this on the calculator. Pay attention, yeah, guys. If you miss it here, you will fail it. Okay? So, 
cos square is the same thing as cos okay you put the x now okay close the bracket and then put the square all right so this is how you're going to present it on the calculator or you do cos x times cos x okay but i prefer this pattern is easier so let's proceed then we have sine x impute sine x alpha and x close the brackets all right so we are good to go guys let's now press record to and get the output very very simple guys so we have it to be what 10 over 3 which is what option a all right so this is how you can basically solve problems involving definite integrals it's not fast using the Cassie effects now one es plus second edition scientific calculator of your multiple choice questions in calculus hope you learned something interesting from this video okay so let's go to the video guys if you are new to this channel once more ensure you hit the subscribe button subscribe to this channel for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel for what i learned from this video if you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding what i have explained in this video feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i will be sure to give you a response all right so don't forget to receive the calculator to clear it once you are done just press shift button 9 there for all equal to equal to again so now I click on the end screen above and I see my next video thanks for watching